Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the general equation, the general formula to find the first n, the sum of the first n terms in a geometric series. It's called the partial sum of the first n terms. Well, let's start with the following. We know that there's a common ratio. The common ratio r is equal to a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1 which means to get the next term, we get a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 multiplied times r. So you multiply the common ratio by the previous number to get the next number, which means that a sub 1, of course, equals a sub 1, but a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio r. And a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 times the common ratio r, and a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times r, multiply times r, is equal to a sub 1 times r squared. And then we continue this process. We go a sub 4, which is equal to a sub 3 times the common ratio. And a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 times r squared times r, which is equal to a sub 1 times r cubed. And finally, a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 times r, and a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 r cubed times r, which is equal to a sub 1 times r to the fourth. In general, the end term of this series is equal to the previous term, a sub n minus 1 times r. Oop, let's do it like this. Yeah, like times r like this. And a sub n times r, well, let's see here. Uh, that would be equal to a1 times r to the n minus 1. Okay, now that we have an expression for each of the terms, now we're going to start adding them up one at a time. So we have a sub 1 plus a sub 2. Well, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 will be this. That would be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times r. And a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 is going to be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times r plus a sub 1 times r squared. And then a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4. Well, that's going to be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 r plus a sub 1 r squared plus a sub 1 r cubed. And finally, in general, we can say that a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus all the way to a sub n, like this. Well, that is going to be equal to, and I'm kind of running out of room there, but let's try to plug it in there, a sub 1 plus a sub 1 r plus a sub 1 r squared plus plus a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. So that is how we sum up the first so many terms of a geometric series. All right. So, so let's plug that back up here. So now we can say that the sum of the first n terms is equal to, which is equal to this, of course. That's going to be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 r plus a sub 1 r squared plus a sub 1 r cubed plus plus a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. And then of course you realize that every term has an a sub 1 in it. We can factor out an a sub 1, so the sum of the nth first numbers on a geometric series is equal to a sub 1 times r, oh no that would be a 1 wouldn't it? That would be 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed plus all the way to plus r to the n minus 1. Well, that's not quite the equation we had on the previous video. However, now we do a mathematical trick. We're going to divide by 1 minus r and we're going to multiply times 1 minus r. So essentially I didn't change anything. I multiplied the numerator by 1 minus r and I multiply and I divide the the whole thing by 1 minus r, so essentially I still have the same thing. Now what happens when I multiply this times this? So I have s sub n 
is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r multiplied times 1 times all of these terms that gives me 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed all the way up to plus r to the n minus 1 and now I multiply this times this and now I get minus r minus r squared minus r cubed minus all the way to minus r to the n power because r times n to the minus 1 power gives me r to the n power like this now notice I have an r here and a negative r they cancel out I have an r squared and a negative r squared or r cubed and a negative r cubed all the way up to an r to the n minus 1 and an r and I have over here minus an r to the n minus 1 so they cancel out the only two terms that do not cancel out is the one in the front and the minus r to the nth in the back. So then if I rewrite this equation, I have s sub n is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. This is an n. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And that is the equation that we used on the previous video to find the sum, the partial sum, of the first n terms in a geometric series. And that is how the equation is derived. Pretty tricky, but it works. Are we done? Nope, one more. I was wrong. There's 29.